time once again. Uh-huh. To introduce you to Friday's Friendly Inn. Join us this morning from the Humane Society of West Michigan. We have events coordinator Megan, and she has a superstar with her today. Mm -hmm. Joan Jett. Joan Jett. Jett. Celebrity. Uh, this is Joan Jett. All right. Not to be confused with the singer, however. <laughs> What's Joan's story? Um, so Joan is a uh, three-year-old, just super sweet girl. Um, she came to us um, and uh, has a little bit of a rough backstory. She um, is really, really timid at first and a little bit shy, um, but is a huge lover. She just wants somebody who will snuggle with her. Um, she actually had the opportunity to go home with a couple of our volunteers for a few days, and they said that really her name should be Thumper instead of Joan Jett, because anytime you come into the room, her tail just thumps Aww. and wags like crazy. That's so cool. And maybe if you adopt Joan Jett, you'd be able to go on tour with her. Be a roadie. Oh. Be a roadie. <laughs> yeah. So, Bring like, your oh, man. Anyway, not, not the singer, not the yeah. singer. But she obviously yeah, looks well. like a sweet, sweet girl. But I want to talk about something that I, you're going to have to tell me what this means. Okay, we, we've met Joan Jett, but what is a working cat? I want to know, because my cats just sleep all day, or right. eat. You could uh, yeah. uh, adopt so, a working cat. Um, working cats are cats that are um, maybe not suited to live in a home and be a pet, but are great for living in barns, garages, workshops, things like that. Um, and uh, using some natural pest control um, for helping with mousing, keeping out rodents, bugs, things like that. Um, and at Humane Society of West Michigan, we, in addition to adopting out cats that can be pets, cats that maybe aren't well equipped for that, we do also um, spay, neuter them, vaccinate them, and then make sure that they get into safe homes where they'll still be fed, still be cared for, um, but have the opportunity to live outside in a barn or something like that, um, which is really the best fit for that cat as well. That's how I grew up. I, yep. we I had feel mousers. like my cat Journey wants to be this way. You think? I feel like yeah, she hate, and a lot I feel of cats like she... do it, and it's it's natural instinct for them, yeah. um, and it really just depends on how they were raised, what kind of environment they're used to. Um, some cats are very accustomed to the, the lifestyle mm -hmm. of a home, and so that's mm. where they need to be. Um, but some cats have never experienced that, and it would be too terrifying sure. yeah. um, and uncomfortable for them to successfully live in a home. Yeah, she, she, she's, she's a good blend of both, I yeah, feel. City cat, country cat, right? Yeah, There's exactly. Like that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> She'd be a kitty slicker. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't read that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I just want to make sure you heard that. Kitty slicker. Instead of city slicker, yes. you said kitty slicker. Hey, you're welcome. I just want to make sure we all got that one. So let's, talk about these, let's talk about these small animals, yes. right? Like, like my, my daughter just got herself a dwarf hamster. Right, uh -huh. and is absolutely in love with little Georgie. But have you ever considered adopting uh, small animals? I mean, you have those too, right? Yeah, so um, Humane Society of West Michigan, um, in addition to dogs like Sweet Joan Jet and cats and like the working cats, um, we also adopt out a lot of small animals. Um, and so, uh, like you said, like a lot of times people don't really think about that, but it's a great opportunity, um, especially for somebody who maybe doesn't have a space for a big dog like Joan or is looking for a little bit less responsibility. Um, we have all different kinds of small animals from rabbits to rats, mice, um, guinea pigs, ferrets, uh, pretty much you name it, we've had it come through our doors. Um, and they're all available and looking for homes as well. It's also a great starter pet for somebody with kids who are maybe looking to kind of ease into that pet and responsibility and care. Um, it's a great opportunity for them to uh, find some animal to love, uh, but also with being able to keep it enclosed. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty and amazing. I, 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 you know, it's hard for me to picture a rat as a pet, but I know so many people that have them as a pet, but I have ants that can't picture me or why I would have a cat either. So, sure. you know what I mean? It's all yes, in, the, right. in the eye of the... And you know, it's, yeah. it's definitely got to be the right fit for your home Absolutely. and what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, there are a lot of people who are like, rats, oh no, could not do that. But right. um, they are really social animals. They uh, do great in pairs because they are so social. Um, they're smart. They can learn. Um, you just have to be comfortable with how they look sure. and, and the preconceived notions a little yeah. bit. Absolutely. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, yep, right? So absolutely. Hop on to Humane yes. Society <laughs> West Michigan. You can pop over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, do some window shopping. If you have any questions about uh, the necessities of what you might need to bring or how to adopt or can you visit the pets, there's the number on your screen, 616 
Thanks again for the time. Let's get Joan Jetta home. We'll be right back.